We have a sergeant major, a colonel, a brigadier general, and a captain. Your testimony is compelling. Thank you. Now to the questions. On January 6, 2021, were each of you gentlemen with Major General, general William Walker from 1.49 p.m. through 5.55 p.m., yes or no? Yes. I, I was. Yes. Yes. The Department of Defense Inspector General report, DODIG report, alleges that the Secretary of Army contacted Major General Walker multiple times on January 6 during that time frame. Some allegations are two calls, some are three, but the allegations would be, or the assertions would be, 3.04 p.m., 4.35 p.m., and finally at 5 p.m. Do any of you recall any one of those calls uh, taking place? Uh, negative, sir. Can I amplify that, though? Yes, sir. So, uh, by way of background, I, so I was, a, I was a political appointee in the Trump administration. I was a senior political appointee. I was also, a guard, I was also in the Army Reserve and National Guard. Now, in June of 2017, I was appointed to be acting general counsel of the Department of the Army. The, the next month, Ryan McCarthy was appointed acting secretary of the Army. He had, he'd been confirmed as uh, undersecretary of the Army. So Ryan McCarthy was my colleague. He was my friend. I, I told the committee he was a good secretary of the Army. I, I, I had a great deal of affection for Ryan McCarthy. I know he did for me. So I'm not here to bat, bat him off Ryan McCarthy, <coughs> but I, I've got to set the record straight. Yes, now, sir. I, in my memo, I didn't call, I never called, I called Pye and Flynn liars. I never called McCarthy a liar for two reasons. One, it wasn't clear to me that he was saying some of the things they said he said. I mean, it, it appeared to me that some of the things they said he said were said by others who were trying to really protect themselves. The other thing was, he was my friend. You just don't turn it off. You don't call your friend a liar. So, you know, uh, but at, at 2.30, at 2.31, they, they, or sorry, at the 2.30, they said that he was on a call with, the, with, with uh, General Walker, and he told him to move the QRF to the armory. I mean, that, that did not happen. Um, Ryan McCarthy didn't speak on that call. And we know this because that, that call was on a conference bridge. It was a D.C. government conference bridge. Now, the DOD IG incorrectly states that McCarthy requested the call. I, I helped facilitate that call. Uh, General Walker was on a call with uh, uh, Dr. Rodriguez, who was the uh, Homeland Security Advisor for Mayor Bowser. Uh, Mayor Bowser was on a call. Chief Sun was on a call. Chief Conti was on a call. All of us uh, at this dais were all on a call. Ryan McCarthy never spoke on that call. I'm, I'm a person who was his friend who knew his voice quite well. If he had said anything, I would say that. We were told he was unavailable. I, I called this executive officer to ask to speak to him, and we were told he was unavailable. General Walter Pyatt and General Charles Clinton were, were on the call. Subsequently, Clinton denies he was even involved in the call. For, for what reason, I really don't know. Uh, he, he did so under oath. And um, Commissioner <coughs> Sergeant Major Brooks, myself, and Lieutenant Nick were all interviewed by the Select Committee. We told him that. I, to me, this is material because Flynn did not under oath twice to the uh, House Oversight Committee and to the Select Committee that he, he was even participated in the call. That goes to his integrity, to his credibility. All right, and, let and me. I, and I, and I, and I'm sorry. Let sir. me let me underline this, Colonel. You are also an attorney. Yes, sir. With you got your license. degree from Harvard Law School. Yes, sir, I got a mortgage in Great Falls, Virginia. I have no reason to be up here lying because I don't want to go to federal prison. And you understand that you are, uh, you, if you lie to Congress, 18, Title 18, 1001 makes that a crime. Is that correct? Un unquestionably, sir. And, we're, and you, you also understand that as a member of the legal establishment, that if you were to lie under oath, your license to practice law, no matter the fact that you have a JD from Harvard, could be in jeopardy. Is that no correct? No question, sir. And, sir, I want to point out. Yes, sir. Uh, I spoke to the Select Committee. I was not under oath, but it doesn't matter because you don't have to be under oath. If you lie to Congress, you're still a federal crime. Yes, and sir. And I'm fully aware of that. And I submitted a document stating that these men were liars, and I stand by it 100 percent. And it's the stand on my army that they, that they got away with it, and no, no one said anything about it. And, and and they, they even sent Pi's name to the President of the United States to have him promoted. He's a lot he was a liar. And so and all of us can attest to that. And you want the truth to come out. No no question about it, sir. Good, bad, or ugly, correct? Exactly. Anybody here want anything but the truth? any of the four witnesses want anything but the truth to come out? No, sir. Good, bad, or ugly. Doesn't matter. No matter what side you're on. Is that correct? I heard a yes a no, sir. Yes, you sir. You want the truth? Yes, sir. Nothing but the correct. truth. Yes, sir. Yes. Colonel Matthews, correct. Brigadier General. That's correct. That's correct, yes. Captain. All right. Um, well, I, I don't know. I got lots of other questions to ask, but I appreciate you jumping in and, and, and clearly with your heartfelt emotions telling us that 
things weren't exactly true and that, the, in fairness, the January 6th committee was not told the truth. Is that correct, Colonel? Uh, well, we, so they were not told the truth, but, uh, but I think they knew that, though, and they disregarded that. And this is what, what I mean. Um, so General Flynn testified before the House Oversight Committee on June 15th of 2021. Uh, during his opening statement and during uh, his questioning, he, was, he, 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 he stated explicitly that he was not on that phone call. He made no statements on that call. Subsequently, he was interviewed by the January 6th committee, and he also stated, he was di directly asked by the senior investigative counsel, did you make any statements on that call? He says he did not. He was not on the call, he says. Now, that is perjury in my opinion. <coughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a lawyer, but uh, it's for court to decide, but to me that's perjury. But the, the important point is, later, I, I raised that. I was interviewed by the select committee uh, in Unfortunately, December. my time is up, but hopefully you'll get another opportunity to okay. talk about it. All right. I apologize. My time is up. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.